all right i gotta do this quick because i don't have any storage space wanted to do some comment reading i wasn't able to do any on sunday so let's get into it i don't know why i'm talking like this let me get some water and i can't pause the recording so water is gonna oh water's in here <sighs> all right he wanted to talk about hidden killer but then he didn't want to talk about it to be fair dude the world martial arts tournament is a huge clusterfuck like every single month they make it harder and harder to get the kill and it's gotten to the point where you can have an account that can kill pretty much any single boss but can't kill tn or lulu it's actually crazy man <clears throat> But yeah, let's see, it's been a dream to see that future in our server. You and me both, man. You and me both. Um, this one is in response to today's video. So is Locke the most easiest obtainable from Super Rank? Uh, apparently, it's actually pretty much the easiest to obtain in general if you're doing Super Rank. Because all you have to do is just kill the first 10 people in front of you and you get guaranteed locks. Had I known this from the get-go, I wouldn't have spent all of those gold and gems. And I'm sure that's a lot. It, that's the same with a lot of people. I'm um, already sponsored that, so I'm not going to respond again. Let's see. Thanks for this. Definitely made it easier to obtain. Yeah, definitely go for it. Because, like, I'm going to let you know right now, training gets simplified immensely. Um, I think the disguise I got in that video had a 96% SP, which is which is really really amazing that that's that's almost that's almost the same thing as the the 100 percent avatar but without any of the drawbacks i'm just saying you need new combo passive that's very true um mine is the guaranteed critical and that right there is very antiquated i can't it, it doesn't it doesn't hold up anymore especially when you're fighting bosses that can pretty much kill you in one shot it Having as much HP as possible is very crucial. I think if I had, like, the 50% uh, guaranteed critical, I would keep it. But 34% is, like, you get to that point, you're pretty much already dead. He wanted to talk about Hidden Killer, but then he didn't want to talk about it. I love these comments. The GOAT post again, bro. Like, bro, I don't even consider myself like that. <laughs> so I really appreciate stuff like that, man. I'm going to apologize for this in advance. I... The, it's messed up <laughs> like the the aspect ratio of the video I, I apologize thanks for this uh them google play hacks came in handy when trying to play ngak long dude i think that brought in a huge core memory i think he's talking about game hack tool and this was one of the hacks that essentially it lets you harvest your senzu beans automatically it would speed up the game data in such a way that you were able to, anything that you were upgrading, anything that had a timer on it, it wouldn't run on server time. It would run on local data. So let's say if you just harvested beans, if you ran that hack tool, it would speed up the timer so that you would instantly get a full set of beans right after that. And it happened with skilled cooldowns where players were able to get their skills back almost instantly after running game hack tool so people were literally charging up their shield right after as soon as they deployed a shield they were able to no do another shield it was wild bro i didn't know how to complete this task of pass round two or uh, pass round five um to pass this tourney quest is easy, easy and self-explanatory you'd think bro but tmo by i mean dbo they're since they're translating from another language they're not the, it's not it's not as self-explanatory the only reason why we know it is because we've been in this space for so long that this quest is second nature to us but i definitely see how it's confusing because there's so many tournaments it's so hard to pick whichever one because there's there's super tournament there's martial arts tournament there's the premier tournament there's the children's tournament like there's so much it's not self-explanatory at all uh, I linked that video. I should make like an actual video, to be honest. Um, I remember Siriao. Now that now that it's spelled out, it definitely rings a bell. But unfortunately, I mean, I wasn't able. To, it, it didn't it didn't ring any bells during the the interview with Sharp. Which, by the way, if anyone wants to be a part of it, bro, I'm taking as many volunteers as possible. I want to talk to each and every single one of you. All right. 
if if who it if who they're talking about is who I think it is, then they always wore a King Kai mask. But I th I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, I remember Serio. Oh, why did that duplicate? All right, I'd rather see quality of life improvements. Okay, I I, I remember seeing this comment and uh, I remember respond. I responded to it in my head. Um, making the game more accessible and forgiving to new and existing players less paywall. So uh, then I asked, like, what what would you think would make the game less paywall? Because these things I can forward to the admin directly. There's two middlemen at play. There's the community, obviously. The community tells me their concerns. I tell the admin. The admin tells the DB team the concerns that I forwarded to him. So there's so much there, there's two middlemen at play, and that's why there's there's always a huge disconnect, and we've been trying to bridge that gap. So he said making gold drops more lucrative for farming without needing to eight slot. They're not doing that. I wouldn't even do that. Like when your account is in the sprout stage, you get a hundred percent more gold than normally, and you get a temporary gold disguise. Okay, gold disguise. That's not bad. That's not a bad idea. The game would teach you about free ways to earn gems as you start out, tell you how and where to get set gear. So, to I can already tell what the response is going to be. Set gear farming is for experienced players. There's a reason why they don't want it to drop. Um, what they're going to say, so they have a track record of um, doing this, so what what'll happen is if you bring up anything regarding like anything regarding like special types of drops they'll and this used to be very prevalent in the forum they'll be the first ones to say oh you should probably ask other players for that or this is this is not documented for a reason and they pretty much want you to figure it out uh in terms of set gear bro That'll be that'll be the last thing that they tell people how to get. They'll probably nerf it five hundred times over before any sort of like tutorial on it comes out. In my opinion, what should happen is maybe there should be there should definitely be a, a higher increase in drops, especially at low level. But what should happen is I think it would be fair for them to be account bound. So like, a lot of what you're saying, I, it makes sense on paper, and I'll start my response right now. So, the biggest issue is, like, that makes sense on paper, obviously. The biggest issue is bottings. Botting accounts, botters, they will, they will, they will, they will destroy anything that's, like, good about the game. And what'll happen is, it, let's say if you get, like, a, a better gold rate, these botters will abuse that shit and make sure that they get every single gold piece worth you know what i'm saying and a lot of the, the biggest question is like how do you stop it and I, I i genuinely believe making it so that the community fights these botters is the best way because right now they take a lot of steps to make things they try to wall out botters but in the event in doing so they make things easier for botters they make things harder on the community and then that allows a lot of botters to step in and pretty much fulfill that need so they'll sell easily to people that want gear or sh some shit like that because the people that it's stopping are the people that want to do these events genuinely and the people that it doesn't stop are the botters themselves let's see um, in my opinion, and I think I'm going to forward something like this, there should be more account-bound drops at lower level um, that where if somebody gets a drop, they can't trade it off. This would curb a lot of, like, botting. Uh, this would curb a lot of botters trying to, you know, make a quick buck, trying to get, like, really good gear at the start. Uh, I don't know why I'm not... They, so they would get, like, really good gear at the start and then just kind of, like, sell it off and then make, like, a lot of gold. Uh, I think I think there should be a good amount of, like, gear drops at the beginning. It sucks a lot when you're when you're a new player because, like, n nothing, nothing comes your way. By the time you get your first drop, like, I didn't get my first drop until maybe, like, 
30 billion power level, man. It's, it's, it's bad. It's, it's really bad. And then that's not even the biggest issue. The biggest issue is you never have enough storage space to get drops in the first place. So I'm pretty sure everyone watching this video has gotten a drop in their life, but they probably never actually picked it up because they just never had the storage space to do so. Um... So yeah, this is talking about the um, the chilled form, and apparently it's a quest that you you have to kill chilled one hundred times, man. That's that 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 is wild to me. It would be really cool to have in our server, even if we cannot play with other servers. Yeah, we be able to play with servers entirely. Um. Okay, I want to respond to this. Okay, so Cav was talking about my tier list placement for all the, the Dragon Ball skills, right? So he put Spirit Bomb at S tier, the Saiyan skill at S tier, Rescure at S tier, Super Kame A, Teleport B. I, I agree with him. I don't agree with Spirit Bomb S tier. I definitely agree with Rescure at S tier as well, just because it fits so... like. It's not, it's obviously not a, it's obviously not an offensive skill. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't give any damage or anything like that. But the fact that it works so well as a support skill for a Saiyan, it definitely, it definitely goes super high up. Um, I will say this, I, I'm kind of playing around Spear Bomb right now because you can stun long enough to throw that out. Plus, it is a huge, huge attack. Like, even at low level, you can still crank out, like, a 1 million, uh, 1 million attack spirit bomb. Um, I think, I always think of these skills that, like, as a whole. So, like, spirit bomb won't even work on a Broly. Um, but I guess you're not really throwing spirit bombs at Broly, huh? With the energy, Don, I'm just gonna call it Vegeta's technique, or the key blast spamming. So with key blast spamming and super comet, you can literally just move out of the way. Um, so I'm gonna say this: with with an earth, you can definitely get away with you can definitely get away with any sort of bomb uh, because you can just stun them and then you can you can kind of do whatever you want with them. With a Saiyan, dude, you have enough time to literally just walk away from the fight. You, you like if you get hit with key blast spamming in Engak wrong bro there's something wrong with you basically uh yeah much anticipated long awaited and well with the rate hell yeah thanks dude that was it was a really good suggestion man I really appreciate you Kev I'm first damn it hell yeah bro Dude, I gotta get first on your video, man. You ain't uploading, though. That's the thing. Um, I see you're not registered yet. What will happen? Oh. Um. There's a trick to that. Sometimes I'll click the email button so it says I'm not registered. And I am. You are dry for free and revenge costs one gem. Dude, I love when like people will shoot those emojis like that, man. Or I guess that they're called emoticons. I'm not using an emoji like that, bro. Let's see, wish I didn't waste all the charms training on myself. Third skill opening. Bro, dude. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Never train yourself. Always train disciple first. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to call it. Disciple first training. Bro, you should never, ever, ever train yourself first. Train disciple first, and then train yourself. What time does a premiere and tournament start? My second account has a quest. Um... I can't tell ya. Haha. 
Oh yeah, I appreciate that, brother. Uh, love your vids, bro. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Let's see. Nice. Thank you. Cheers. I've never used that word before. Bro, Kitaz. Dev oh, you know I gotta give him a shout out. Hold on, let me uh. And I copy that link and put him in the description. See, I have a mission to challenge. Uh, did you complete? How to kill a player, bro. Um, just challenge them. It'd be funny if de developers delivery made trading while wearing yak on a hassle because then begs the question why? Oh, um, I don't think they imagine people. Monkey tail in your dread. Okay. Let's see the goat. Thank you. <clears throat> Holy shit! Holy shit! What the fuck happened here? Okay. Um, people still play this dead game. How can a game that's constantly be updated for new and OG players be dead? It can't be doing too bad if it was a silly build to drag you to the channel. I said you should try it sometime. Um, the reason why, dude, that. That made me so... This, bro, reading this combo was so amazing. Um, I want to see if Bodica still uploaded. That's so cool, man. Thinking about, like, a lot of shit that you uploaded way back in the day. Like, people still think about that, man. I used to think, like, when I, when I, when I took that break for, like, two or three years, or when I quit for that amount of time, and people would comment saying, like, hey, do you still play? Or, like, how's everything been? Like, I used to look at that like, man, it sucks that, like, people only know me for this. But now I look at it like... I was, I was so impactful to so many people at such a young age that I want to continue doing that. And this is just another medium that I have to try and help others. So, what the fuck? Why, why, why are you calling him a pity, bro? Jesus Christ. Let's see. Um, I'll have you know that since you left, they added some new skills like Super Kami and Mufuba. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, this, I'd say Ghost is definitely in the right here. Because, like, they added that, like, way too late. Like, you gotta understand, the last time that they added skills was nearly 10 years ago. So, like, them putting this shit in 10 years after, like, that is, that's honestly pretty dumb. Um... I do think that they should put more skills for the 1.5 billion tier. Because, like, if you look at it, right, you get skills at 150k, you get skills at 1.5 million, you get skills at 150 million. I think there should be a skill at 1.5 billion. I think for Earths, that should be some shit like Tribeam. I think for Saiyans, that should be something like... Hmm, let me think of that real quick. Thinking is done. I think that should be something like... uh. Like, oh, you know how, like, Vegito has that blade? I think that shit would look dope as fuck. Like, the, the hand blade. Um, I forgot what it's called. God damn it. I think, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I think for Namix, it should be either that the finger blast that Frieza has, or a fucking stun. Please, for the love of God, a stun. Um, let's see. Uh, for starters, the community does not exist anymore. Why even bother playing an online game if I won't be able to actively interact with other players? Play the game because I really enjoyed it. Yeah, very true. Um, community, yeah. Like, that makes a lot of sense. And I 1,000% I agree with you just because, like, the clans itself... Because eight years ago, clans were the the way to talk to everyone it was such a joy hopping in the clan chat, like, getting together with everyone, doing Red Ribbon with everyone. Now, there's not really a way to connect with anyone besides Discord or um, Facebook. So, like, a lot of the chatting in-game is done. And it sucks. Just because, like, NGOC never really expanded on their chat capabilities because of that. It seems dead. I will say, though, I think the game is coming back, bro. I, I want to make another video on that. Um, 
that's where you're somewhat wrong. The community has been greatly diminished. True. <laughs> um, but it's still, yeah, it is active. I, I will say that, like, I believe the game is going in a good trajectory right now. Lord Cal and the other OG players are keeping this game alive. Nostalgia. I personally would still play if there were only a mere 15 of us all together, but there are thousands. Some active, some not so much. Yeah, that, that's the way some about it. Um, maybe I would just say there were probably thousands, but now 100s. Who knows? Maybe, um, I'm mostly satisfied with the community. I'm curious to see what'll happen after this. I know a lot of people are coming back. Like, I see World Chat super active. I see the game. I see a lot of people. I see more people playing right now which is really good um in the past years i, I haven't we're, we're obviously not going to hit that like level of player base that we had before but i think we're going to be pretty close to it people still play this dead game oh what why is everything duplicating oh i gotta make a video on that um 10 through in a row um Help quest tournament. If you trade, it'll mess up the trade. Oh, I think. Yes, I, all right. Yeah, I lapped it. All right, see ya.